Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about important and previously asked questions and answers about central venous system. The first question is 8th cranial nerve is the options are trigeminal nerve, vagus nerve, vestibulocochlear nerve and optic nerve. 8th cranial nerve is And the answer is vestibulocochlear. The cranial nerves are 12 pairs that are olfactory, optic, oculomotor, trochlea, trigeminal, abducens, facial, vestibulocochlear, glossopharyngeal, vagus, accessory and hypoglossal. The cranial nerves are 12 pairs. The second question is the feature which is not included in the Cushing triad. The options are bradycardia, tachycardia, kinestock respiration and elevated systolic BP. The feature which is not included in the Cushing triad. And the answer is tachycardia. The Cushing triad including bradycardia, elevated systolic BP and kinestock respiration. The kinestock respiration consists of series of respiration that gradually become deeper and noisier until a climax is reached. And third question, the parameter not included in the Glasgow Coma Scale. The options are eye response, verbal response, motor response and sensory response. The parameter not included in the Glasgow Coma Scale. And the answer is sensory response. The Glasgow comma scale including eye response, motor response and verbal response. Total score is 15. If 14 to 15, the patient is awake. 11 to 13, lethargy. 8 to 10, stupor. 4 to 7, coma. And 3 is deep coma. The fourth question. Unsteady gait is otherwise known as. The options are. Apraxia, ataxia, dystonia and aphasia. Unsteady gait is otherwise known as. The answer is ataxia. In that apraxia means inability to perform learned movements on command. Dystonia means involuntary muscle contraction that cause repetitive or twitching movements. And aphasia means. Language disorder that affect a person's ability to communicate. And the fifth question, absolute contraindication for doing lumbar puncture. The options are increased ICP, skin infection at the site, meningitis and encephalitis. Absolute contraindication for doing lumbar puncture. The answer is increased ICP. In the case of increased ICP, there is a chance for brainstem herniation. The sixth question, normal CS of glucose level. The options are 20 to 40 mg bar DL, 50 to 75 mg bar DL, 80 to 120 mg bar DL, less than 40 mg bar DL. Normal CS of glucose level. Answer is 50 to 75 mg bar DL. The normal CS of protein level is 15 to 45 mg bar DL. The normal glucose level is 50 to 75. And seventh question, presence of oligoclonal bands in the CSF indicate. The options are multiple sclerosis, encephalitis, cerebral hemorrhage and stroke. Presence of oligoclonal Bands in the CSF indicate. The answer is multiple sclerosis. The oligoclonal bands seen in multiple sclerosis. And the eighth question. Abstract thinking, sense of humor and personality is located in which lobe of brain? The options are temporal lobe, parietal lobe, occipital lobe and frontal lobe.
and the answer is frontal lobe and in parietal lobe sensory perception such as touch pain temperature vibration pressure are present and temporal lobe hearing smell memory and sensory speech are present and in occipital lobe vision the vision center is in occipital lobe and the ninth question number of spinal nerves in human body the options are 33 pairs 31 pairs 12 pairs and 22 pairs ninth question number of spinal nerves in the human body and the answer is 31 pairs that is cervical 7 thoracic 12 lumbar 5 sacral 5 and coccygeal 1 c7 t12 l5 s5 c1 10th question hallmark of metabolic brain disorder is the options are loss of memory for remote events loss of memory for recent events acute confusion loss of concentration the hallmark of metabolic brain disorder the answer is loss of memory for recent events the hallmark of metabolic brain disorder is loss of memory for recent events the 11th question seizure occur in childhood and early adolescence is the options are partial seizure grand mal seizure absent seizure myoclonal seizure the seizure occur in childhood and early adolescence the answer is absent seizure and the 12th question the nursing measures in order to avoid most common side effect of aptoin is the options are frequent skin care frequent oral care hydration fiber rich food and the answer is frequent oral care the aptoin is fentoin the common adverse drug reaction is gingival hyperplasia so oral hygiene is important in patient with the fentoin the 13th question the classical triad of clinical manifestations of brain tumor the options are free fever headache and vomiting fever headache and papilledema headache nausea and vomiting and loss of consciousness headache and vomiting classical triad of clinical manifestation of brain tumor and the answer is headache nausea and vomiting these all are the classical triad of brain tumor and the 14th question the most common cns fungal infection is the options are tinea pedis tinea capitis mucomycosis cryptococcosis most common cns fungal infection and the answer is cryptococcosis cryptococcosis is common cns fungal infection and the 15th question chronic irritation of fifth cranial nerve is the op options are syringo milia trigeminal neuralgia bell's palsy clumbacus palsy paralysis the answer is trigeminal neuralgia the fifth cranial nerve is trigeminal nerve so irritation in the fifth cranial nerve cause trigeminal neuralgia the 16th question first feature of alzheimer's disease is options are loss of consciousness thought blocking apathy and memory loss first feature of alzheimer's disease and the answer is memory loss
And the next question, most common feature of cooling bearing syndrome. The options are descending paralysis, ascending paralysis, hemiplegia and paraplegia. Most common feature of cooling bearing syndrome. The answer is ascending paralysis. In this, paralysis start from the legs. The descending type of paralysis seen in myasthenia gravis. The ascending type, ascending type paralysis seen in Gullimberry syndrome and descending type paralysis seen in myasthenia gravis. Next question, gold standard treatment for Gullimberry syndrome. The options are plasma pheresis, anti-epileptics, physiotherapy and IV immunoglobulin therapy. Gold standard treatment for William Barry syndrome. And the answer is IV immunoglobulin therapy. The gold standard treatment for William Barry syndrome is IV immunoglobulin therapy. And the 19th question. Surgical management for myasthenia gravis. The options are adrenalectomy, adenoidectomy, thymectomy, hypophysectomy. Surgical management for myasthenia gravis. The options are adrenalectomy, adenoidectomy, thymectomy, hypophysectomy. And the answer is Thymectomy. The benign tumor of after puberty considered as an etiology for myasthenia gravis. So, thymectomy is the surgical management for myasthenia gravis. The 20th question. The normal ICP is the options are 5 to 15 mm of Hg. Less than 5 mm of Hg, 5 to 50 mm of Hg, more than 50 mm of Hg. The normal intracranial pressure. And the answer is 5 to 15 mm of Hg. Next question. Raccoon's eye is seen in. The options are spinal cord injury, head injury, brain herniation, and encephalitis. The raccoon's eye is seen in and the answer is head injury. The raccoon's eye means periorbital ecchymosis that is mainly seen in the head injury cases. So raccoon eye is seen in head injury that is periorbital Echimosis. The next question, predisposing factor for developing Alzheimer's disease. The options are seizure, aluminum intoxication, brain injury, reaction to vaccine. The predisposing factor for developing Alzheimer's disease. And the answer is Seizure. Seizure is a predisposing factor. The next question. The most common feature seen in complicated Gullim Berry syndrome. The options are heart failure, respiratory distress, decreased renal function, and hepatic insufficiency. The most common feature seen in complicated Gullim Berry syndrome. Answer is respiratory distress next question area of receptive speech is located in the options are frontal lobe parietal lobe temporal lobe and occipital lobe the area of receptive speech is located in the answer is temporal lobe that is vernicus area and the area of expressive speech is broca area that is in frontal lobe. 
the receptive speech in temporal lobe and expressive speech in Broca's area. The 25th and last question, sensitive and earliest indication of increased ICP. The options are altered level of consciousness, headache, projectile vomiting and widened pulse pressure. Sensitive and earliest indication of increased intracranial pressure. And the answer is altered level of consciousness. Thank you. Please subscribe the channel for more videos.